Crystal Swain Bates, and I'm the author of Big Hair Don't Care. This is actually one of the first books that I wrote, and I wrote this book because I had such a hard time finding high quality books featuring black characters. There was a time recently when a lot of little girls were being teased for their hair, wearing their hair as it naturally grows out of their head. So I was inspired to write a book to encourage young girls to take pride in the way that they look, the way that their hair is, no matter if it's big, small, short. Take pride in how you look and love yourself. Big hair, don't care, not. Here, I'm at the uh, African American Children's Book Festival here in Baltimore. I flew in from Atlanta to be here, and I'm here to do a reading of my book. I'm here to meet everyone, do autographs, and I'm just excited. I love to talk to young kids and see their reactions to my books. And this is my passion. I love doing this, and I can't wait to write more books. Hey everyone, my name is Roland Taylor. I'm the author of The Hip Hop Chess Master. Um, just want to stress the importance of, uh, first of all, reading. Uh, second of all, um, the game of chess. Um, it teaches strategic thought. Um, it helps with cognition. Um, so it's not just a game. Um, it also helps you throughout life uh, with the strategies that you learn. It also helps you in school as well. So listen, don't shy away from the game. It's a great game. Also, The Hip Hop Chess Master is available. Uh, it's a great story for kids of all ages. Uh, so check it out. Roll it Thank you. Sure. Hi, how's everybody doing? My name is Akeem Shea Brown. I am the Vice President of ECBOC, East Coast Black Age Comics Convention. And a question was asked today, uh, is there a challenge in uh, artists creating characters of African descent, whether the artist or the cre creator is of African descent themselves? Uh, I would say yes. Uh, over the past, uh, what, almost how many years of comics? 50 years, 75 years of comics, right? Um, there's always been an issue with our characters representing the people in the community. Um, and it, I think it also parallels to what you guys see in films and television. Um, but specifically in comic books, what typically, be, typically is the case is that many times when you have uh, black characters, many times they're Superman but brown skin, or Wonder Woman but brown skin, and then the powers might alter a little bit. But what we actually want and what we see from uh, the fan base that likes to see something like a Black Panther or a Black Lightning and things like that is that we like to see the not only the character to look Afrocentric, but to actually be Afrocentric on the inside as well. So uh, we do have issues when, we have, when our characters are only colored brown, but don't have African type textured hair, or they don't have, or they're colored brown and they don't have African textured, uh, African hairstyles and things like that. That does become a problem, but one of the other biggest problems, I think, is that when they don't behave in an African, in an African way. And so what we like to do is, at Ekbok is like to celebrate artists and writers that are not only creating uh, characters that look like us, but also behave like us. Hi guys, my name is Evan Roberts. I'm the creator of the Kahari Discover series, uh, which is a children's series celebrating black and brown boys and girls. This is the newest book in the series, uh, Kahari Discovers the Brilliance of Janae. I wrote it in honor of my little nieces. It's designed to inspire our young girls to want to pursue the STEM-based careers. Uh, it teaches them about plants, about microbes. It also tells them a story about why pursuing science is such a fun thing to do, and also some of the famous black women scientists from the past and the present. I really encourage you guys to come out and check this book out. You can find it at www.ejrbooks.com, or you can find it on Amazon as well. So I'm, I'm Donnie Mustacy. I'm the author of Mango in the Street. And we focus on three things with our books. We focus on the black aesthetic, we focus on black girl empowerment, so having girls doing non-traditional things in our stories. We focus on literacy first. So there's 220 words that kids have to learn by the third grade. And our book series focus on those words. These are called on-site words or, or dosh words. So you can find me on www.juniorsread.com. That's J-U-N-I-O-R-S-R-E-A-D.com. celebrated our identity um, and I wanted other children to be able to benefit from all of the values that my parents found very important and significant towards a healthy identity, towards development, all of, all of the things that our children could grow up understanding the value of self-love, and, that know, and know that they're worthy of love, and worthy of a quality education, and worthy of goodness. And so all of these things were extremely important in and, and preparing this book and making it a gift to our children.